welcome to prefabricated structures so in previous video we have seen related to disuniting of the structures now in this today's video methods of disuniting of structures we will be seeing which is most important in the prefabricated structures so there are four types of methods method number one that is systems consisting of linear members this united at joints and systems of for prefabrication of disuniting of entire rigid frames then comes straight members disunited at a points of minimum moments then two hinged and three hinged arches so we can already knowing this where the moment will be coming the nil moments there we are considering and two hinged and three hinged arches so let us see further one by one systems consisting of linear members unit disunited at joints so disunity at a joints which gives linear member this means a great advantages and facility from the point of view both manufacturing and assembling इसका मतलब कि जॉइंट्स जहाँ पे रहते हैं सो नॉर्मल जॉइंट्स जैसे कि बीम जाके कॉलम पे रेस्ट कर रहा है और बीम के ऊपर स्लैब रेस्ट कर रहा है देर वी विल गेट दी पर्टिकुलर जॉइंट यूजिंग दिस सिस्टम ऑग्जिलरी स्कैफोल्डिंग आर नॉट नेसेसरी एंड द होस्टिंग प्रोसेस इज एज अ रूल वेरी सिंपल in this system the joints are at corners so the forming of the joints are very difficult the quality of subsequent concreting executed inside only exceptionally and readily accessible places by very over dimension justifies the newer precast members and newer trend of replacing moment resistant joints by hinge like ones so earlier we used to get some fixed joints and fixed moments there we are going to take as a hinge so once a hinge joint is going to get we will be able to see that the particular moment is reduced so moment once it is zero there is not any movement of the members the complicated construction of the rigid corners can be omitted then systems consisting of linear members disunited at a joints how they are going to get what are the advantages very simple scaffolding are not necessary easy to hosting process easy of assembly this advantage formation of joints are very difficult how to form a joint is the most difficult part in this particular section then comes the formation of uh, joint is very difficult and the joints are at Uh, corners joints at corners where the moments are usually reach their maximum values there it is going to have a disadvantage systems for prefabrication of this uniting into entire frames the trend is reduced to number of joints and to precast a large members in one piece leads to prefabrication of an entire frame the production of the frames does not cause particular trouble but their hosting is more difficult and requires careful preparation then the distribution of a straight members during their hosting is in a general statically determined the tilting of the frame so we are going to tilt the frame and then we are going to adjust that part will be coming in this particular section so tilting of the frame of the particular in a horizontal into the vertical position lifted at any two points by two separate acting hosting machines if two points are not hosted exactly at the same time and with a perfect uniformity the frame itself will be affected by torsion the elimination of torsion during hosting and placing requires either the transfer of the suspension point on the rocker after the tilting up then it is finished or application of a counter weight has to be placed so if i take this is a hosting 
and a suspension point is allowed at this particular section then there will be a counterweight which will be coming as a balancing which will be able to make that particular section into a horizontal member or if it is a vertical so to make it vertical it is lifted horizontal we will be trying to hook up at this point and it will be allowed to get a counterweight on this and it is in the vertical position like that the particular frame has to be lifted out advantages joints uh, in the members are reduced so we can see the joints are reduced in the members failure of joints are minimum so these failures in the joints are minimum because of not disuniting and uh, transportation cost is reduced then lifting of hoisting and entire frame is more difficult because it is total that is a disadvantage transportation of a frame from a plant is very difficult that will be uh, more difficult but it is reducing the cost transportation is uh, high uh, for the transport of entire frame so if we take in a material it is less but if we take in terms of a frame it is costly also the stress distribution during the lifting problems are more where the stresses are acting we are not able to find out them that case will be coming third one straight members disunited at a points of a minimum moments in this method this is the division into members that is at a points where the moments are smallest this method is also called as a lambda method in some countries but not in the our region or our uh, country the recognition of the difficulties met with uh, when carrying out a moment bearing junction at a place where the moment is greatest led to this moment then points of a, a minimum moments are those points where the graph of the maximum moment is not finding out determined on the base of the loads to be considered reaches its smallest positive and negative values straight members disunited at a point so these are the straight members which are disunited at the particular points where we can see the minimum moments is going to act at this particular point so there we are reducing usually here we comes at a moment uh, changing means shear force is going to act at these moments that particular sections the sections are going to change for this particular part so advantage is less material is required and long span structures is it's economical arches may be two hinged or three hinged may be fixed at footing and made up uh, with or without ties and uh, disadvantages this system appears mainly during hosting the hosting and temporary bracing of a l formed asymmetric frame members is particularly complicated the joining of the members to one another is not less complicated than when using the systems previously as discussed for the particular disadvantages it will be coming into part then comes 200 and 300 arches so we are knowing that these are the three hinged arch this is two hinged arch this is two hinged arch this is also two inch arch arch structures are normally used for bridging spans which are more than 20 to 25 meters the production and placing is more difficult than that of the straight members but as they demand little material their use of a long span structures is also most making them economic arches can be of a two or three inch but they can also be fixed at a footings can be constructed with or without the ties or with the ties uh, this method is appropriate for elimination of three hinges and arches structures can be precast in either vertical or horizontal position the prefabrication of the large arches in the horizontal position is found to be more economical use uh, is using this method the arches must be tilt up by and this involves the uh, solution of an additional problem the construction of the arch truss can be properly carried out uh, in the horizontal position and only the part particular things and see you thank you see you in the next video